There's so many microphones you can purchase for filmmaking and they all cost a lot of money. But in this video, you'll learn how to improve your audio quality of any video microphone built in or external without having to spend an extra cent. G'day, my name is Gary and you're watching the channel that reduces the stress of creating successful videos. If you enjoy my tutorials and reviews, then please consider subscribing. The first thing to do is to train your ears. Listening carefully to the sounds around us is the first step to improving your audio quality. When I began making videos in 2013, I set up a makeshift studio in the back garage, and it didn't take long to realize that the whole neighborhood wanted to be on YouTube as well. So much noise came in from outside through the gaps in the sheet metal walls that I filmed some videos multiple times just to get a good take. Now, why did the microphone pick up noise that at first I didn't hear myself? Well, the reason is simple. If you ask people who live near a busy highway, they'll often say, oh, they don't even hear the traffic anymore. Our brains process sound from our ears and filter out noise that is unrelated to what we're focusing on. In contrast to that amazing ability we have, microphones on cameras and audio recorders have very limited filtering. Some mics have the ability to reject sound from behind and to the side, but they don't miraculously filter out everything else other than your voice. Get into the habit of really listening carefully to the environment that you're filming in. Accept the fact that the sounds you hear will be picked up by the microphone on your camera or recorder. Now that you've taken a moment to identify all the noises in the space you're filming in, you can work on reducing their impact on your recording. There may be wind blowing outside, cars driving past, people talking nearby, dogs barking, lawn trimmers, aircraft overhead, and even computer fan noise. Now I've battled with all those noises. So what can you do about it? Closing doors and windows can make a big difference. And check that they're well sealed. Turning off anything in the room that's creating noise like a computer or air conditioner, that can help in, just while you're doing the filming process. Just simply letting everyone know the time period that you're going to be filming in can help as well. And if you've done all that you can to silence the common noises in your recording area and there's still problems, you need to choose a more quiet time of the day or the week to shoot your video. If you have the luxury of a space you can film in that isolates outside noise, all the better. Another way we can improve audio without spending a cent is to reduce room reverberation. Reverberation is the multiple reflections or echo in the room. Sound reflecting off hard surfaces like timber, plastic, glass, metal, or even concrete can cause reverberation. These hard surfaces reflect sound from your voice back to the microphone, and because this reflected sound had to travel a greater distance, it'll be recorded as an echo. Multiple surfaces cause multiple echoes. Most of us know reverberation as the sound you hear when you're singing in the shower. Of course, if you want those added reflections to enhance your music or your singing, that's fine. But to record clear dialogue, that is your speech, reverberation needs to be eliminated, if not minimized. There are some expensive options we can buy, but how can we do this without spending any money? Soft furnishings are the answer. Old carpet, blankets and mats, are the best things to use to cover hard surfaces with a soft material that's going to absorb unwanted reflections of sound. A hard wooden or tile floor can be covered with a blanket or a mat. And also hang some blankets over mirrors, uh, hang thick curtains over windows in your room. Another simple trick is to open up a clothes wardrobe in the room that you're filming in. It may be all that's needed to reduce room reflections because the clothes will absorb reflections in the room. Choosing the best microphone position is essential. There's so many microphones you can choose from these days. Microphones built into your camera, camera mounted shotgun mics like the video mic series, specialized boom microphones, clip on lavalier microphones and even wireless models. But don't be tricked by any fancy microphone advertisements. Simply buying an expensive camera mounted shotgun mic will not help if you don't stand close to it. Sure, the expensive mic's going to filter out some of the sounds from the side and the back, but if you're standing meters away, it won't be as good as a mic clipped onto your shirt or a mic boomed over the top of you. There's no better way to improve your audio 
then to position the microphone as close to yourself as possible. Now, if the best microphone you have is built into your camera or your smartphone, you need to diligently follow the suggestions in the previous lessons about reducing environmental noise and room reflections, and then try to stay as close to your camera as possible. Also, being conscious to project your voice and maintain good volume will go a long way to improving your audio recording. Something that is often neglected is to remove any microphone obstructions. If you have a protective case over your mobile or your DSLR camera, it's a good idea to check that you're not obstructing the microphone. Identify where the microphone is located on the device and see that nothing is blocking the audio port. You might even have to remove the case for your video recordings. It goes without saying that whatever microphone that you're using to record audio, make sure that it's facing the correct way. Now, many microphones are directional. To give you an example, I was on a Zoom call with a friend the other day and I passed on that I was finding it hard to hear what they're saying. And it worked out that in their haste to set up, the expensive USB microphone they were using was behind the laptop and facing the wrong way. Easily done. The sixth tip to improve your camera's audio without spending a cent is to filter or cut any unwanted sound from the recording. Now I have the terrible habit of smacking my lips unconsciously before I start talking during a take. Now thankfully most times I can cut it out during the editing process. And you might find that you could do the same with your recordings. What can you do about continuous sound or noise that's there all the time? You may be surprised after you listen to the recording that the microphone has picked up a low rumble of distant traffic or even the whine of an air conditioner in another room. There are audio filters built into most versions of editing software and these are designed to filter out things like hum and hiss associated with poor recordings. You may find there's a whole suite of filters that you can select, all with their own parameters. But be careful. Whatever audio filters you employ, ensure that the changes you make complement the final recording and don't deteriorate the overall presentation. You may be surprised how much your audio quality can be enhanced by taking these six steps to improve your audio. Training your ears to be more perceptive to unwanted noise, reducing environmental noises outside the recording location, reducing room reflections like echo, uh, choosing a good microphone position to capture that quality audio, removing microphone obstructions like the case on your phone or your DSLR camera, and using editing software to eliminate unwanted sounds. If you have any questions or any suggestions of how you can improve your audio without spending any money, then please type them in the comments section. I'm sure others would appreciate reading them as well. So until next time, stay safe and I'll catch you later.